Well, the message I see here is unity. I mean, everybody's here from every walk of life. Uh, the message is clear. Uh, things must change economically in this country. And in North, things must change. Uh, we have issues with the current administration, uh, with the police being laid off. Uh, there's not, no public safety in the streets. Uh, by the same token, the media has chosen not to report a lot of those things. So we're forced to do protest marches. Uh, Donna Jackson and Cassandra do the North Carolina Violence Coalition practically every day or every other day, uh, depending on the violence in North. And this protest here is now forcing the media to look at the issue and say, hey, people are really concerned. People are so concerned that they'll sleep out in the park you know, for weeks or even a month at this point to try and get a message out. Uh, hopefully in Newark, we've been doing anti-violence marches for over a year. Uh, hopefully one day the media will pick up on that in Newark and say, hey, you know, less police on the streets does have an effect on the average walk. Uh, people shouldn't be afraid to leave their homes or go places because of gunshots. So did you come here as part of a Newark contingent or did you kind of decide you're interested in this, you want to kind of make sure that you are here to see this historic protest? Uh, or did you come with a group of folks and how no, exactly did well, you? I came alone, but uh, Rahman Muhammad from SEIU uh, gave food last week okay. and, uh, you know, I thought, you know, that was nice to help out because, you know, they have a kitchen here. And I just thought maybe I could just come out and just, again, lend my presence and just show that I understand where they're coming from. And just to ask you about your experiences here today, what has it been like? So you arrived here at 4 p.m., the sun was still up, how many folks are here? Just kind of paint the scene for me if you can. Okay, well, when I got here, it's really four times the amount of people that are here now. I mean, it's really packed. And uh, only as the night has gone on and people start to leave, as you see those who are going to stay here starting to bed down. Mm -hmm. uh, but a lot more people here, a lot louder. Okay. Um, they had uh, performers on the other end, and then they had the drums, which just ended about five minutes ago on this end. Okay. So, you know, I walked around. I thought it was interesting. They have a library up there at the left-hand corner. They have the Welcome Center with information. Uh, they had a media center. Uh, they had an internet cafe right back there, but uh, the power went out. You know, so, uh, you know, they have extension cords running all over the place. Uh, unfortunately, now, over there, it's not working. But it was just nice. You know, I was trying to tweet or send, update my status on Facebook, but because of no power, no phone Did you happen to bump into any other folks from Essex County? or? Actually, no. Nobody? I'm surprised. I'm really surprised. I expected to see you here with a bunch of other folks that we heard you were coming. We're like, oh, we're going to see who else you're hanging out with. We were surprised to learn that you were a Lone Ranger. You know, I mean, I, I let people know, but if I say I'm going to do something, I do it. You know, I mean, everybody's got different kind of schedules. Some people work on Sunday. Uh, some people want to watch football. You know, um, so that's their prerogative. You know, I don't force anybody to come out. And, uh, you know, if I say I'm going to do something, I do it. And do you think the folks of Newark um, could benefit from doing something like this? Um, specifically thinking about the fiscal and economic policies that are affecting our own city. Do you think that the folks in Brick City ought to maybe um, specifically complain and speak to um, the fiscal concerns about budgetary concerns and uh, the bank's close relationship to um, our current administration? Do you think that there could be something that Newark ought to do? That may be a step up. I mean, there are s folks who are aware of it. No, but man. As already, you know, uh, I just, Okay. Last week or the week before in the East and Ironbound, they already protested. They did a march on City Hall. Uh, they didn't want the tax increase to be as large as it was. Uh, they complained about less services. And um, that technically was a mini protest similar to this. So they get it in the East, and uh, we have more violence in the other sectors of, of the city. So. At a later time, we'll talk about the finances. But we definitely know we're not getting what we should do. Thank you so much for your time.